when you start to look at the 44th Ryder Cup matches over there in Rome, give me give me one positive takeaway that you have from the whole event. 16 and a half, 11 and a half sounds enormous, but you can probably find four, five, or six shots that turn the whole Ryder Cup. I mean, there were a couple of matches on Sunday that were were tied. You flip those and, you know, one shot here, that's then you're at 14 and a half, whatever it is, 12 and a half, or that's, that's not right. But you get my point. So yeah. I think, you know, I mean, we just think it's all doom and gloom and stuff. And playing at Beth Page, that could have easily flipped the other way. My good, I'm going to go with Max Homa. You know, I think for sure that's now two international teams in a row where he stood out as the American MVP in many ways. So congratulations to him. And and that's going to be my negative takeaway from this event. Um, To me, Zach Johnson did not pass the test whatsoever. I mean, from the pairings to the preparation, I just don't get it. And uh, besides Zach, what's your negative takeaway from the Ryder Cup? Yeah, I mean, not playing for five weeks. uh, Most of the guys, I think that was, uh, you know, a fair criticism. Only three of the American 12 had played since the Tour Championship and all the European Ryder Cuppers were in uh, in form, or at least they had been playing uh, to get a chance to get into form. That was huge. 